what is so special about this community and our congressional district is its diversity in every way, shape, and form. People are funny, they have a great sense of humor, they work really hard, they are honest, they just want to live a good life like anybody else, but I love the style in which we do it. Oftentimes our electeds were not necessarily paying attention to our community. They were not making sure that our voices are heard and that policies that mattered for our community were actually being reflected. And so it means a lot when she has become a representative very recently for our community, that now she is showing up for our community. Representative Ocasio-Cortez. How are you? Happy Eid, everybody. Happy Eid. It's just been such a wonderful time celebrating Eid with you all. Thank you all of our organizers for, for putting this together and to really putting in all of the effort to bring our community together. It takes so much work. They make it look easy, but it's not. And when we talk about public safety and we think about public safety, we're really thinking about this. This scene that we have right here, where our children are over there to the side, playing without worries, where we're able to speak with one another, engage with one another, eat with one another. This is what safety looks like. My boy is just like run. Born and raised in Australia, Queens. My son went to school in Queens, went to Stipes in high school, went to Columbia University. Can't get more New Yorker than that. So proud of you and everybody. God bless you. Co-op City is a magical place. It is the largest housing cooperative in the world. Kids are safe, families come out all the time where there are festivals and concerts and events and it is truly built in community where you can connect with others and you know your neighbors and you're part of something bigger than yourself. Queens Night Market, uh, which aspires to be the most diverse and affordable market in New York City. Um, lots of people come, about 15, 20,000 people come every night, uh, and hopefully it's a good time. His organizing of the Queen's Night Market is responsible for the flourishing of so many of the small businesses you see behind here. So we thank you, John, for all that you've done. We're actually all uh, frontline workers that kind of developed this passion during the pandemic. Yeah. And um, yeah, and we're like, you know, we like, wanted to give it a shot. And, uh, you know, this is food we grew up eating. So it's good love for you to try the yeah. most popular Indian street food if possible. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you recommend. Sure. 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 To be able to just meet with some of the families that are just starting, some of them that are just starting their journeys here, starting up businesses, you know, some of that were started during the pandemic and are now starting to really blossom. It's so exciting to be able to support our small businesses, our immigrant families, and our entrepreneurs across Queens. People live in the Bronx, families live in the Bronx, families live in Queens, everyday people live in these boroughs and it's less about what the outside perception is, but it's about what our perception is of our own community and how much we value where we come from because when people focus on the love that they have and seeing beauty and seeing potential in our own communities, then we start to fight for it. We start to build for it. We start to just do positive things for the people around us. 